What's going on guys? Jack Wood here, driver in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. I've recently announced a new partnership with Logitech G and they sent me a bunch of great exciting products for me to upgrade my sim rig with. So today specifically, we're going to be checking out the brand new Logitech G923 True Force wheel and pedal set. All right, so at first glance, uh, definitely built out of premium materials and that's uh, quality stuff top to bottom, which is definitely going to be good for me because I've been known to be pretty rough on equipment. You've got a brushed metal wheel, hand-stitched leather wheel cover with a new premium stitch pattern and polished metal pedals. Of all the things on this wheel, I'm most excited about True Force. True Force is Logitech's new force feedback technology, and everyone that I've spoke to said that True Force bridges the gap between the real world and sim racing. As we move our way down, the pedals feature a progressive brake pedal with an updated spring for more consistent and accurate braking. All right, now that we got all this stuff out of the box, it's time to bolt them onto the rig and see what all the hype's about. Setting up the G923 wheel and pedals was effortless. After some adjustments, I secured the base and pedals. I was most excited to try out Logitech's new True Force force feedback technology. True Force is proprietary, high definition force feedback technology that will revolutionize what's possible in racing games, all derived from real game physics. It's crazy just how realistic the True Force technology is. It's become so crucial that your gear on your sim is top notch. Our racing has done an incredible job scanning these different racetracks whether it's a road course like Watkins Glen, a mile and a half like Charlotte, or even a super speedway like Daytona or Talladega, and bringing it as close to real life as possible. And I think True Force allows you, as the user, as the driver, to feel every little bump, every little seam, every little crack in the racetrack. I was running some laps at Watkins Glen, and uh, going to the bus stop, hit the curves on the right-hand side and the left-hand side. You know, and in the truck, in real life, it you know, basically when it rips the wheel out of your hand, I was blown away to see if the True Force technology on Logitech's new wheel simulates that almost perfectly. You can see that Logitech has built race controls directly into the wheel. It's nice to have the dual clutch option, so my hands are always on the wheel and the shift is at my fingertips. Thanks to the progressive brake pedal, it added an extra level of realism, and I consistently find myself braking later and deeper into corners. This setup gets my approval. If you're looking for a great wheel and pedal set with excellent force feedback, the Logitech G923 is just for you. Hey man, I got that new TMX Thrustmaster wheel. It's going down. <laughs> Xbox One? I can't wait to play when I get home. Yo, let me play? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna have to play first. Yeah. You know, I'll race it for it. So I have to hand it to
We listened to the community. We took all the comments the community gave us for years and all those improvements, we'll find them in our new wheels. With G29, we are bringing our heritage of great force feedback racing wheels to the PlayStation 4. So we've kept the dual motor force feedback transmission from the G27. It's still got the anti-backlash gearing. It's still got the helical cut gears so that you have a very quiet experience. You can get incredibly high fidelity force feedback so you can feel things like your tires slipping or road conditions or uh, if you're pushing too hard into a corner. So you get great understanding of what the car is doing while you're driving so you can make sure that you don't push it too hard and go out of control. Logitech make wheels since years now. We learned a lot in terms of how the wheel has to be made in, in terms of ergonomic. And bringing this on top of the electronic capability we have at, at Logitech, at the end you have an interface that is really optimized for what it has to do. The force feedback transmission has steel ball bearings so that it's more smooth and tight as you're steering. It has a hand-stitched leather rim so it's really comfortable to use for long periods of time. And it's got anodized aluminum spokes so that it's very durable. It's got real solid materials all throughout to make it just a very sturdy and durable racing experience. When you are in a racing game, you're going to use a lot of force, a lot of strength. So we want to make the wheels as solid as possible. So we design very specific test equipment that really allow us to stress the wheel to the maximum. The Logitech G920 driving force is our first racing wheel for Xbox One. We've been asked for a long time to deliver a wheel that is compatible with both PC and Xbox, and we're really excited to be able to give you a force feedback wheel that does that. This wheel has, of course, a lot of new control. They are all easily accessible, but on top of that, we did a lot of improvement in the electronics, in the processing. You will see now that the encoders we use, for example, for the position of the wheel are completely new, are a lot more accurate. The important thing about the force feedback is not that you're going to feel, oh, somebody hit me from the left, but you're learning more about, oh, I'm, I'm hitting this corner really hard, but I've still got some grip in my tires. I can hear it. I can feel it in the wheel. I know that I can, next time I go around this lap, I can hit it harder and get a better time. The driving force shifter, which is available as an optional add-on, can be used with either the G29 or G920 driving force racing wheel. It allows you to integrate a six-speed manual shifter with push-down reverse into your racing setup for more realism. If you're looking for more information about either the G29 driving force or the G920 driving force, go to gaming.logitech.com.